The rain continued to beat down on all of the cats as Noodle looked up to his brother. No, it's not like that. I was just hungry. Cattle let out a sigh. Great, now Shadow Clan's here. Noodle quickly added, Well, not all of the clan, it looks like just the... But he was interrupted when the cream-colored she-cat quickly confronted Cattle. Hey, be nice. He has a soft soul. She scooted between the two cats, her tail puffing up. Cattle took a step back, but looked disgusted. Excuse me? He arched his eyebrow. Noodle's eyes quickly filled with worry as he looked up at his brother. Cattle, just go home. The she-cat furrowed her brows as well. He was just hunting. But the three of them were interrupted by the clan cat. You should all leave before my clan comes and makes you leave. Go back to the barn where you belong. She huffs, trying to look tough. Javelin could be heard. I'm out anyways. I'm not dealing with my old company. He snarled at the clan leader before quickly leaping away and heading back to the barn. Cattle completely ignored the clan cat, looking back at the she-cat. In the middle of the night? With no hunting experience? Noodle tried his best to shove himself in between the two bickering cats. He looked over. Well, what's your name? He asked maybe if he could change the subject, but Cattle just hissed. It's the only way to learn, she mumbled in a polite purr. I'm sure he can handle himself. Fine, but if you die, don't expect me to care, Cattle retorted. Noodle felt somewhat guilty. Cattle, you're so dramatic, he hissed back. Before the three of them could continue arguing, Another cat approached. This time, Cattle knew exactly who it was, the Wind Clan leader. With another angry glare, he turned and quickly ran across the road. The sleek gray and black cat strode up, blocking Noodle's way. With the aggressive cat gone, Harkin sighed and turned towards the larger cat with the shy grin. Sorry. Are we intruding? Noodle simply curled up and watched with wide eyes. He didn't get out much. The Shadow Clan leader shot her a glance. Then hunt somewhere else. Or at least come ask to use our hunting ground. I am Marble Star, leader of Shadow Clan. Noodle was soaking wet and cold at this point. All right, fine. Anything, just to get us out of this rain. Marble Star shot them both a glance before walking past them as Hark looked over to Noodle. Oh, do you need a guide back? The Tom nodded. Oh, yeah, that it would be nice. All right, she stretched. Where are you staying? The old barn he said with a smile. Not too far, but the rain messes with my smell, he said, slightly embarrassed. All right, simple enough. This way. He followed closely after Hark as she crouched down. I learned that the monsters don't hit us as much at the end of the thunderbath, she explained. Once across the street, she gestured over. Do you see it? Just that way. Oh, yeah, I can see it from here. Thank you. As much as he wanted to get out of this rain, he also didn't want to leave Hark, so he asked. So, do you live back there? 
She chuckled and shook her head. No, I wander now and then. Oh, I see. Well, it was really nice meeting you. If you ever need shelter, the barn's always open. He heard before walking off. Thanks. The name's Harkin, by the way. But you can call me Hark. The Tom felt his cheeks go red. He had never even asked her name. How embarrassing. Oh, I I'm Noodle. It's silly, I know, he said, looking down, embarrassed. She tried to stifle a bit of a laugh. No, no, it suits you. I'll see you around, Noodle, she said, before he even had a chance to speak, she took off. Oh, uh, thanks, he chuckled. Oh, uh, yeah, Hark, you too. But she was gone. Wow, what a lady, he said before turning back and running through the rain to the barn. It didn't take him long before he was inside the barn, shaking off his pelt and immediately faced with his older brother, Cattle. Oh, hey, he said, looking up. Cattle snarled. Welcome back. Noodle hopped up on the crate to join his brother. I got distracted by a small mouse, but it got away. Cattle then spoke in a flat tone. I think you forgot something out there. Noodle tilted his head. Huh? He turned to glare at his younger brother. I'm older. I'm in charge. Noodle simply flopped on his stomach. Oh, yeah. If you want to stay in my barn, you need to follow my rules. I mean, I'm not a kit anymore, though, Noodle grumbled. Standing to his paws, he puffed up. Your barn? In your dreams, he said before jumping off the crate, cattle leaping down with a thud. Yes, my barn. Whatever, he said, rolling his eyes, but cattle was furious. Don't you turn your back on me, runt. Noodle froze, feeling his heart drop as he turned around carefully. Don't call me that, he yelled, carefully and slowly taking steps closer to Cattle, unsheathing his own claws. His brother also unsheathing his claws. Make me. Noodle puffed up, but he just couldn't make the first move. Just drop it, all right? Cattle let out a deep laugh before a simple no. Noodle let out another eye roll before turning back to the hay. He didn't want to sit and argue with his brother all day. But suddenly, in a blind fury, Cattle rushed his brother, jumping on Noodle's back. Noodle hit the ground hard, but thankfully the hay stopped him from getting hurt. He let out a small surprise. Ah! The two cats fumbled around in the hay, each swiping and taking kicks at each other. Neither seeming to really win, but Cattle was definitely more experienced. Eventually, poor Noodle ran out of stamina. Get off me! But Cattle didn't stop, only taking another swipe across Noodle's face. Noodle, unfortunately, couldn't move out of the way, and the red blood slowly dripped down onto his white fur. I trust you won't forget who's in charge again, right? An utterly defeated Noodle let out a small, All right. I'm sorry. Oh, it won't happen again, said Noodle, trying to hold back the tears. Cattle slinked closer leaning forward. Don't you forget it. 
The older Tom took off for another part of the barn as Noodle quietly curled up and began to lick his wounds. It was the next morning when the black and white Tom woke up to a familiar scent, his eyes immediately looking over to see a sleeping cattle. He sighed thankfully. Turning the corner, he almost practically bumped into Hart. Oh, it's you. Hurry, he said in a panicked voice. Noodle led her to a few tall hay bales, making sure that they wouldn't be seen right away by cattle if he decided to walk around. S sorry, I didn't want my brother to see us, he said shamefully. Oh, that's all right. I actually came here to ask about him. Is he treating you well? She said, looking over his fresh claw marks. Noodle kept his eyes to the floor. He can be such a jerk sometimes. Well, usually he isn't violent, but last night he stretched a little to show Hark. Hark's eyes widened. Noodle, oh no. She raised a paw to touch the wounds, but stopped herself. That's terrible, she finally let out. I'll be okay, I'm sure. I just don't think it's safe for you here. His eyes looking back every once in a while, paranoid. Hark shook her head. No, it's not right. Her fur puffed up once more. We should get out of here. I know a safe place for you. You do? Well, lead the way. He purred nervously, but excited. Honestly, anything sounded better than here. All right. She stood quickly, peeking around the hay bale to make sure the coast was clear, Noodle sticking close behind her. With no cattle in sight, they ran making it all the way to the thunder path. Hark let out a small, you know, that big cat we saw at the carry-on place. Noodle nodded. Yeah? Well, she is leader of some sort of clan, Shadow, I think. She seems nice enough, though. I think she'll take you in. Oh, well, would you join me? He asked, taking a step closer to her. His eyes filled with excitement as he waited for her to respond, just as the scene fades to white. Hi guys, it's Brad here and welcome, I guess, to this like after talk thing I do sometimes. So um, I've gotten a few questions about this series, so I figured I would answer them. Um, noodles. Uh, Luck is just a random roleplay that I did in a public server. Um, a few people are my friends, but most of it was just kind of like random. Uh, and also Noodle isn't related to my season one characters at all. Like he's not a part of the like official season two, um, which uh, includes Mudfur and then the three others that I have yet to reveal. But um, I did take a little break. I did Angel's Mystery and I did Noodles, which are both just like their own little stories. And then I am going to get back to, um, I think, Fire Stars first, which I know people have been really excited about. So, okay. I just wanted to give that little update and uh, I hope you guys are liking Noodle's luck so far. I'm sorry about the cliffhanger, but I had to do it to ya. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, if you liked it, don't forget to subscribe, um, leave a comment, all that good stuff, and I will see you guys all next time. <laughs> Bye.